Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon and I have a special guest. Hello everyone. My husband. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing today is we're gonna be doing a Q&A. Sorry if I keep moving around, but I'm like, I wanna be comfortable. Just let you know, I am very uncomfortable feeling on the floor right now. I am like- We have to sit on the floor because there's only one chair and the desk is not big enough for the both of us. She doesn't wanna give it to me. <laughs> We're filming, the chair is our tripod because I have a baby tripod, I don't have one of those big ones. So anyways, um, this is going to be a Q&A video. So what I did was I submitted, or I asked you guys to submit your questions um, via my Instagram account. I wish I dressed better. <laughs> and <laughs> and um, you guys did, so I thought it would be kind of fun to do a Q&A. This was actually an idea that one of you guys gave to me when um, I was doing a live like a week ago. And you were giving me ideas of, you know, what videos that I should put out and stuff. And one of the ideas was to do a QA and a with husband since he does pop up a lot in my Instagram stories. What can I say? <laughs> so I just thought, okay, maybe you guys would like to see him a little bit in video. And yeah. So can you see yourself okay? Perfect. All right. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is we're first going to introduce what signs we are. You, I know you don't know what moon and everything you are, but this is yours. So, um, I am a Pisces sun, a Cancer moon, and a Gemini rising. Um, meaning I have a lot of hell of a lot of water in my chart. And I have probably no earth, which is why I think I'm with an earth sign. Um, but super watery and emotional. And my husband, you are a Taurus sun a Leo moon and a Capricorn rising. So the reason why I wanted to, to tell you guys our signs is because some of you guys are all into um, astrology and Capricorn rising. <laughs> Capricorn risings are super modest when you come face to face with them. So they're super modest, they're super serious, they're super like business-like. And that's exactly like kind of the demeanor that he is. So I thought it would be kind of funny to list that he's a Cancer or a Capricorn rising. <laughs> okay, let's start with the questions. So do you want to read them all? Sure. Let's do number one. Rose, what is your favorite? No, oh, don't... oh, I'm answering my own question. Got you. No. Okay. <laughs> number question number one. Question number one. <laughs> favorite color. What is your favorite color? Um, green and black. What about yours? Um, orange. Actually, no. Um, really? as you could, as you could tell, I like to wear a lot of blues. <laughs> <laughs> I like to wear a lot of blues, a lot of grays. Uh, but you know what? I have, I know I love all colors, but. But what's your most favorite? I wear a lot of blues. <laughs> okay. It's so a blue. <laughs> blue. As oh you my can tell. gosh. <laughs> okay. Number two. How long have we been together? A very long time. How long exactly? I lost count after 10. <laughs> <laughs> so exactly wise, we've been together 12 years. We got together in 2007. Yeah. We've been married since 2015. Yeah, so almost four years married. So almost four years married, but we've been together. Hi, like 12, Luna. 12 years, you guys, which is a long time. Try to get her on my lap. Come here, Luna. Come here. Luna. Maybe Luna might make an appearance. Yeah, guys. she might. She might. She's not always a... Oh, she's coming. Come here, Luna, look. She likes crystals. Come here. Do you see her? Do you see her in there in the corner? Go ahead. Pick Go her ahead. up. Come on. Yes, she's so I love you too. Pick her up, babe. Go ahead. Go okay, see. so number three, favorite crystal. No, I got you into crystals. Yeah. <laughs> very very beautiful he saw me buying a bunch of rocks but you know what it must be because i'm an earth sign <laughs> i love anything that comes from the earth so i mean to choose one specifically i can't i mean anything that just attracts to me like either an amethyst amethyst or a, a salt lamp um it doesn't matter it doesn't matter so it, there's not like a specific one that you find attractive no they're all beautiful oh beautiful I like amethyst, I think. Yeah. Uh, I think amethyst. I think I see that. Cool. That amethyst? No, no, oh, there's all quartz. I ah. I, actually, that's a special kind of quartz, but I don't I don't remember the name of it. But I have an amethyst. The amethyst is the purple one. It's like the big one we have in the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. I like amethyst. 
Um, I also like clear quartz, which I have a lot of that too. Like there's one right behind you. Right here. And clear quartz. And we we like the raw ones like this. Huh? Yes, yes. Natural, raw, not the polished or anything. Ones. Anything just come straight from the earth yeah. and cleaned up. You know, that's... We have a lot of those big ones around the house. So that's probably what our favorite crystals are, like the raw form. But I like all kinds. Like the polished ones are nice too. But I would say the, the raw forms are pretty. I think the best thing we could possibly do is go look for them ourselves. Oh, yeah. Find one. He's been wanting to do that. He's been wanting to go mining for crystals. Yeah. Crystal, crystal <laughs> mining. Okay. Um, what is the most important, wait, oh, sorry. What is most important to you in a relationship? It'll be communication. I was just going to say that. Same because thing. without communication, yeah, everybody's going to be on their own page and uh -huh. do whatever they want. Uh, and it's just yeah. not good. No, absolutely. I agree. I think communication is very important. I'm, I'm actually happy that you said that. I think that's why you and I mesh so well together because we are always talking. We always talk like... We, we commute together to Well, work. let's back up. It wasn't always like that. That's true. You know, we had to get into that like, that's routine so true. of open communication. Yeah, with that we weren't always that way. Of, I agree. We had to build up on that. Right. But I would say, like, even you said it not too long ago. You said that you've noticed within the last year or so, we've talked a lot more. Right. We're very open with each other. <laughs> and I got to say, like, I mean... I think it's important to have romance. I think it's important to have sex. I think it's important to have like mutual interests. But I would say communication. If you're not talking, you're not growing. Right. So, yes. Okay. Um, what quality in your lover do you find most difficult? Everything. Uh-uh. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, okay. I'll go first then. Go ahead. <laughs> Um, and this goes with your cancer. Yo, how do I keep calling you a cancer? It goes with your Capricorn rising. I was thinking of cancer. <laughs> it goes with your Capricorn rising and your Taurus tendencies. Um, I think most challenging is sometimes you can be very uh, stubborn and always right. Because I am. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that you, he tends to be, um, like, he tends to always say he's right and this and that. You call like, me a know-it-all. A know-it-all, yes. Like, a know-it-all. Um, bossy. That just Those comes are the back Taurus to... traits. Those bull, stubborn traits. But I would say that's probably the most difficult thing about you because I'm more of a, like, I give in kind of a person. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then what's, what's, what is, what's a difficult trait then for me? For you? You're... <laughs> You're emotional, but you get emotional over things that you shouldn't get emotional about. At least, but you know, but, but I mean, that's who you are. I mean, let, I understand. But let a astrologist tell you with based on my chart, which I've been trying to explain to him. I am a Pisces sun and a Cancer moon. So my emotions and my me is all warmed Everywhere. up by water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm watery. I'm a crybaby, right? She's very yeah. much a crybaby. Yes. A cry <laughs> but hey, that's okay. Yeah, no, it's it's fine. You know, it's fine. Nothing wrong no, with No, and your stubbornness, I've I think it's it's I've learned to adapt to it. Like I know that that's how he is, and I know that that's how he's gonna react. She just walks away. Yeah, I'll walk <laughs> away, and usually it's just like since we both like to communicate, we usually don't have the the problem with talking about it. It's usually like that first. Like when it first is an issue, right? Don't you feel? We like eventually she, talk about it. Yeah, like for example, she will get all wound up about X, right? And I'm like, okay, you know what? Go ahead. Do what you got to do. How and you're that? more of a problem solver. Like he just wants to solve the problem where I want to just feel it and talk about my feelings on it. I figured once you <laughs> solve the problem, you'll be like, oh, that was nothing. <laughs> Like sometimes I don't want to solve the problem. I just want to feel it. Oh, well, I like to solve problems, so. <laughs> but that was a good are. question. That was a good question. Okay, now these are the heavier questions, so I put them on the other page. Um, these are more like we're going to have to really think about it, I guess. Um, 
Can we edit this after? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is going to be super organic. I don't even have editing software. So this is all it, you guys. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Um, how did you both know you were each other's soulmates and did it take time? How about this? It's just not rephrase the question, but it's, it, I'll give you a, a short answer. Short answer would be we're still finding that out because, um, yeah, I could say she's my soulmate, but there's more things in our lives that I will find out about her and that she will find about me as we evolve, as, as we evolve and grow. Old. But I think the question is like, I think they're saying like being each other's soulmate based on the fact that we made the decision to get married and we've been together for so many years. Let me look at her. What? Look at that face. I can't live without that face. That face. <laughs> Come here, Luna. Come here, Luna. How about your face, fella? Oh, she's, she's, she's all in yeah. the room. She's, she's in the room. She but... is never in the room when I'm filming videos, but when you're in here, she's in here. <laughs> okay, so I think, how did we both know we were each other's soulmates? I, I'm going to take this as, how did I know I was ready to be with him forever? She told me once. Did I? I think like in the beginning of our, in the our relationship. relationship. Look, she didn't tell me because I would have been like... <laughs> <laughs> it took me a while though it took me a while because i want to see if this is going to act is this going to answer another question no okay when we first got together i think i told you like the first couple weeks i contemplated not being in the relationship yeah totally. i almost broke up with him like probably by week two i think and it goes kind of the next questions are going to answer this question are going to answer this more in detail but it was basically because we were very different in our belief system and i just didn't think that it was going to fit and you and and i'll explain it more but you know yeah, i, I know. was close-minded when we first met yes i was close-minded oh yeah like i was not this version it was not who i was when we first met which is a shocker probably for some of you guys because you guys don't know the other the other version of my life. Like, you guys just know this. So this, I was not this person when he met me. So I would have to say, yeah, it did take time. Um, I think that first year, we were kind of rocky. Our first year, huh? Oh, yeah. We almost broke up. We did. For a few reasons. <laughs> for a few reasons. Um... And then, but there's another question here that'll go into detail with that. So, um, so how did I know we were each other's soulmates? Like, I just, you feel, I felt it eventually. Like I could, I, it was like cliche. Like I couldn't see myself without him. Yeah. Kind of there thing. we go. Yeah. Like if you take her or myself out of each other's equation, uh -huh. you think about. It's like an empty feeling. And yeah. Like what, how can, can I move on without this person knowing this person still you knowing know, here. that this person still exists right. and I move on without them right. in the world and right. I couldn't like I'm so happy with him he makes me happy he makes me laugh he makes me feel good and he makes me feel like I could be myself and that's big for me so yeah that's how I knew <laughs> okay what attracted you to me both physically and personality wise because she's a lover of books and I'm not a lover of books <laughs> That was, wasn't that my little tagline? Yeah, something like that. I'm like, oh, jeez. We met on a dating website. We were one of those, not eHarmony, but it was... It was, was a long, long time ago. It was time a long-ass time ago. And on this dating site, which doesn't even exist anymore, that's how long ago it was, um, you put in your picture and your information, but you had to put like a little, like a... I think they do that now still. Do they still know. do it? I, I guess, I it's like know. a tagline to get that person to be interested so you try to put something interesting well you're selling yourself yeah you're selling it's like an advertisement <laughs> so i remember i put um what was it it was like i love books something what, like what are you Book what are you time. reading right now or something like that <laughs> and he always joked around like that was like one of the reasons i mean aside from my face i'm sure right of course <laughs> no okay so seriously though physically and personality wise because i was a bookworm well, personality, well, when the first time I ever met her, <laughs> um, she sees me and she's dressed up like a witch. And she goes, <laughs> that's me. not my real nose. <laughs> I don't really have this mole. It was, I was dressed up as a witch for Halloween. It was Halloween. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he walked into, um, I was working at that time. I was at a library 
and I wanted him to come to the library to meet me the first That's time. Public place. To make sure he yeah, to make sure he was not an axe murderer. <laughs> And I just so happened to be dressed up as a witch. How funny, huh? Foreshadowing for what happens in the future. That's hilarious. Oh, mm. okay. And then physically, were you attracted to me physically? Of course. <laughs> You're such a liar. No, I am. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay. This is how we are really on, <laughs> off camera. So, okay, next question. How did you come out to your husband about tarot reading? And what was his reaction? Okay, initially, I don't... Oh, I remember how. Okay, actually, I didn't come out to him about tarot reading. He found my tarot deck. <laughs> okay, so um, the, I was working at a library, and we got a donation in, and in the bin was a box of tarot cards, and I was really interested. I was curious. Didn't know much or anything about tarot, except for it was, like, taboo, because at the time, um, you know, I was raised... Christian so we were told those things were evil but for some reason I didn't want to throw it back in the bin I wanted to take it home so I took it home and I put it in my closet and I forgot about it and so I had this deck which I still have um I had this deck in my closet for a while and then when we started dating for some reason you were going into my closet for whatever and you saw it hmm do you remember that? No. He found it or he saw it. Maybe you have a different memory. But anyways, my memory was that he found my deck and he was like, what's this? You know, he was a little surprised. That, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. I was like, <laughs> you better not bring anything home. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. He, You were like, you better not bring anything home. And so your initial reaction was he was nervous about it and he was not a fan. And that goes hand in hand with our belief system. Like, at that time, I didn't, I thought so too, you know, like, oh, it could be evil or conjuring something, but it was also curiosity. And so I remember, remember the first time I read for you? I didn't even know what the hell I was doing. <laughs> I don't even I remember, remember because I don't get readings often from her. I, <laughs> I remember I lit a candle, like this one that I have back here, my Mama Mary candle. I remember lighting a candle and we were up in my room and I pulled cards and I just, I remember specifically the first card I pulled for you was the death, oh, death card. Yeah. It I was remember. death. And he, <laughs> I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> and so we kind of just like uh, laughed it off and then we, I packed it away. I put the deck back in the closet, didn't really touch it until I had my little awakening. Like you guys know how that goes. But, um, but yeah, if your initial reaction was not, you were not a fan. Yeah. He didn't agreed. know what he was doing. He didn't know what I was doing. I didn't even know what I was doing. So it was just really like, uh, yeah. Um, but then when I had my little awakening and then I started to dabble with the tarot, I was already going through changing my whole belief system, that whole thing. And I couldn't, mm -hmm. I couldn't. Okay. So is this going to answer? Okay, well, let's get into the next question. How did your husband handle your spirituality and were you open from the start? So this is what's going to explain it. So when we met, I was a born again Christian and my husband's always been Catholic. And when we met, I was born again Christian. I was trying to fulfill what my family expected of me and I wanted him to convert to the Christian church for me. They're both considered Christians. I know, but that's... <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> but that's where I was coming from. And so when we met, I was like not interested in his Catholic beliefs. I wanted him to be a Christian. If he wanted to be with me, he had to be born again, blah, 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 blah. Like all of that. So how did you handle that side of my personality? Or the eject button. Or not my personality, but my uh, spirituality. Or the eject button. Yeah, he was, he was ready to call it. He, he was ready to say no. And I was too because I was like, well, I can't be with a Catholic. He has to be Christian like me. So we almost broke up over that. And we, I remember we would fight a lot over it. I know, I know. Well, now I know. So we would fight a lot over that. I was so close-minded. Okay. And then... um. 
So were, were we open from the start? I was open about that kind of faith system that I had. So then it wasn't until, so that was in 2007. And then in 2010, I think it was 2010, I converted to the Catholic Church. I converted back to the Catholic Church because I grew up Catholic and then we converted to the Christian born again Protestant Church when I was like 14. So from 14 to 21, mm -hmm. I was a born again Christian. And then I converted at like 24, 25. I don't know how old I was in 2010 to the Catholic Church for him because at that point I knew he was the one I wanted to be with. And I missed all of the whole traditional, like just what I grew up with. So I fell back in love with the Catholic Church. And so I was there and probably for what, two, three years? Up until probably like when we got married, I think is when we kind of started tapering away from the church. Mm, yeah, because something happened at the church where we're going to. Uh, like they the change, changed the management and stuff like that. And it, it just, I just. Uh, it wasn't the same. Yeah, it, was the same. it wasn't the same. And so, and then, but in my world, like my husband's always, hey. my husband has always been a Catholic, always and probably always will be. And from my perspective, my, sp <laughs> she's like camera shy. From my perspective, my spirituality had been changing from 2012. So that's why I say about two years for mm -hmm. me, I was a strict Catholic. Right. We went to church every Sunday. Um, and I was taking confirmation class and everything so that we could get married in the church. Um, and at that time I was, were, I was dealing with the identity of dealing with my parents, not being too happy about me going back to the Catholic church. So I was dealing with that crisis. And then in 2012, I had my awakening and that's when I started getting more into spirituality versus a organized religion. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so then how did you react to that? Side of my spirituality Look, that I'm, phase I'm, I'm very open with everything um as long as it doesn't bring harm to anybody stuff like that i'm very open i mean if you want to you know everybody has a gift you know so, so if you want to go to the christian bible i say everybody has a gift and use that gift to help others and why not so he's so. supportive which was so nice he's very open-minded and he's like hmm. he's a different type of open-minded Christian than what I grew up with so that was refreshing and that was like that told me that was a forever commitment I wanted to make with him um because my my identity changed so much when I had my awakening I call it my awakening because that's that's just like a term but I feel like the version I was as a Catholic was going back to my roots of who I was when I was first you know born and brought into this world but, and I still carry with me those, that flavor, but being spiritual was my own personal way to, to kind of connect with God in my own way versus the way my parents wanted it to be. So that was huge when he was very accepting of it. And he still is. He has his limitations though. No Ouija board. No Ouija board. I'm not allowed to play with a Ouija board. <laughs> That's like one little limitation. So, you know, but he lets me do my thing and he understands it. And then I let him do his thing. And I still, you know, if you wanted to go to church, I would still attend it with you. And it doesn't make me, I don't not believe in God. I just have my own, my own flavor of God than what the church teaches. Does that make sense? Sure. <laughs> I have my own flavor of God. He's just different. He's not the he's not the Christian God. That's the way I see him. He's not the Christian's way of God. He's just energy and he's everywhere. And he's love. Um, okay. Do you and Hubby have similar spiritual beliefs? You kinda answered that already. You kinda answered it. We we have very different beliefs. Somewhat to an extent. Um do we do I still believe in God? Yes. Do you believe in God? Of course. Yes. He's my husband's more, I would say like you're more organized religion. He's a, he's a Catholic. And I don't mind identifying as Catholic if you want to give it a title. 
but I'm a, I feel like I'm more of a spiritual Catholic. If that's, if that does, does that exist? <laughs> I feel like, I don't know. I think that's where like I have my issue with, with, with my faith right now is because I don't know. I don't have a title for it. It doesn't need a title though because I connect with God when I meditate. Like I feel God when I meditate. I still have my moments, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't not believe in him or whatever. I just don't believe that you have to be a certain you have to you have to be cross. part of, be part of a certain group. Yeah, you have to be part of a certain group or you have to do this way and live this style and believe this way in order to go to heaven. I that's where I don't I don't register I don't subscribe to to that. I feel like it's just I don't know. So I guess that's where our beliefs are different or I don't know. But I think what matters most is that he he's understanding of me and I am understanding of him and we make it work. Now we have talked about like, you know, if we had, if we brought a baby into the world, how would we raise our baby? And I want to give the baby both flavors of us. Like the baby grows up aware of traditional Catholic beliefs and traditions and baptism and all of that. Yes, definitely. Because that's, you know, that's where I came from as well. But I also wouldn't want my baby to not know of like other stuff or feel like, or feel like she, I say she, cause I feel like we're Well, if we would have a girl, if we had one, but I feel like if she wants to check out a book on tarot books or angels or demonology or whatever the fuck, like if she wants to read a certain topic, she could, she should be able to and not have to hide it from me or you like, I'll be accepting of it, you know? I don't want her to grow up feeling like she can't dabble in astrology, you know, because it's evil. I don't, I, I want her to be free to choose what she wants to do. And if my baby were to follow a path of like being a Christian, then she follows a path of being a Christian. And if she follows a path of being whatever, like she could do it. But I just want her to be able to choose and not feel limited in the way I felt growing up, you know? So... I think that, I think that's kind of answers that question. <clears throat> Do we have similar beliefs? Somewhat, <laughs> somewhat. They're a little different right now. They've kind of gone more different direction. I would say the last couple of years. Oh yeah, of course. But it doesn't change us, and it doesn't change our relationship. Of course not. And it doesn't change the way we communicate because I'm open to him and he's open to me. So, yeah, it works. I think you did a lot of talking. I just know. Like, that's my Gemini rising. <laughs> I'm just used to being in front of the camera. So anyways, do you have anything else you want to say? Not right now. <laughs> the camera's yours, Bugs. Oh, I know. Well, it's not my channel, so I don't know. I'm well, just a guest. If you guys want to see more of Hubs in my videos, let me know. Um, we could do another Q&A. We could do... I know I want to film a video. Someone wants to see a video of me doing a reading for him. That'd be nice. He's always down for a free reading. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, if I do that, you know, I'll put that on here. But if you guys want to see more of Hubs or whatever, give me some ideas. After this, you're like, I'm too quiet. Get him off. Aww. Yeah. No, but I did. I did a lot of talking. I'm sorry. I like to talk. That she does. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in, and I will catch up with you guys later. Oh, yeah. Bye, guys. See you later. <laughs>